Yes, Seth. Welcome back to my channel. This is Flicking on my Big Tarot here where I bring you the beauty, juice, and spiritual truth. I am your spirit guy host, ah, Miss DC. Okay, and today I'm back with a general reading for the sign of Sagittarius. Every is okay. Please understand this is a general download, so it will not apply to every single Sagittarius, as everybody is not going through the same situation. Okay, cross watchers, anybody outside the Sagittarius energy, you're more than welcome to join in, tune in, but please utilize this information for the most positive purpose. Spirit told me to talk to you. And I will be talking to you, okay, with my Romance Angel Oracle card deck, my Moonology Oracle card deck, my Modern Witch Tarot deck, as well as my, okay, Tarot deck. So excited because I haven't used this in previous videos, but you know what? I'm so excited right now. And y'all, I'm doing $7 reading. So if you want a personal reading with me, go ahead and DM me on my Instagram. Snapchat is going to be somewhere where you can find it. Okay, Desi DC, flicking on my big got a podcast too okay nothing is yet set in stone okay let me first say y'all be giving me energy sagis y'all be giving me energy y'all be giving me energy you're one of my favorite signs sagittarius is literally one of my favorite signs i love the sagittarius and the leo energy i love y'all but nothing is set in stone that's not on my end that's on yours emotions are running high it seems like that's happening with a lot of people these days okay emotions are running high it's time to take a breath i feel like y'all always be moving too y'all might need to take a little break you know you might need to take a slight break get your mind right go on a go on a, a little by yourself away uh, a by yourself away a getaway by yourself a by yourself away you know maybe clear your mind clear your energy because emotions right now are running high and i feel like you have a lot going on engagement your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment okay so maybe you in a relationship that you're in is going to get stronger. I feel like maybe you all are working on a marriage or leaning towards uh, working on possibly getting married. You probably or may be in the engagement stage right now. And you all just want to take it to a higher level. You know what I mean? You all just want to want to take it a little bit of a step further is what I'm getting from that. Okay. So engagement, your love life is ascending. So whoever it is that you with is possibly, um, like I said, prop maybe bringing you up, maybe causing you to take your, that's a contradiction, I feel like. Time to take a breath. Emotions are running high. Nothing is set in stone. And then you have engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Maybe you, maybe, maybe your love life is what you need to calm you down. I feel like maybe you're just in overdrive and whatever relationship you're in is what's needed to kind of give you that breather, okay? We got the nine of wands. See, the nine of wands in reverse is like they call it the wounded soldier. You know what I mean? Probably having a hard time keeping yourself together right now. Trying to keep yourself afloat is very difficult, you know? And possibly the relationship that you're in may not be as useful to you as you feel. And see, I feel like you're in hermit mode right now. You know, it's just kind of like, and see, Sag just kind of got that. I'm in a relationship. I'm not in a relationship thing going on. So the person that they're with, they're with this person because they feel like they give them some type of emotional stability. But at the same time, it's like, it's not enough. I feel like, so you're in this place of going into hermit mode. And it's because of this love. I feel like you want love from this person. It's something about this person. This person gives you love, but it's something that's missing. I, it's something that they not, it's something that they not doing. It's something that they not, it's something that they're not doing. It's like you want this person, you want this relationship, but it's like you got a bunch of shit going on 
but you want love in this relationship. Six of wands in reverse. Maybe you don't want the relationship to be seen. I feel like maybe you want, it's like you want some, it's like you want a relationship seen, but you don't want it seen. It's like you want to be in a relationship, but then you don't want to be in a relationship. See, we got this five of pentacles feeling like you're losing out on something. Maybe you feel like a, a, a lack or a loss of something. I feel like maybe you feel like this person, this person is causing you to be in hermit mode, possibly. you. It's like you have a lot going on. And this person is really just not helping. They should be there for you emotionally and they're possibly just not doing it. And maybe that's what you need to allow your relationship to go to a higher level. Because right now, whatever it is, is out of sight and out of mind. You know, whatever it is, is out of sight and out of mind. And it's like you're not worried about it. But something that you really need to be paying attention to, I feel like you're not paying attention to strength you have more strength than what you think you do and six of swords trying to trying to trying to move on from this situation that you're currently in with this eight of swords coming out of feeling stuck so i feel like i feel like ultimately you have a lot going on sag like it's like you got a lot going on in the one relationship that you need to sustain you is just kind of it's missing something it's like you, you, you almost perfect, but you missing something and whatever it is, isn't being seen or you're possibly not wanting something to be seen. And at the same time, I feel like it's causing you to po possibly isolate yourself and, and, and you might be, um, like I said, in, in, in a, in a position of not wanting to accept certain help from outside sources you might not really be wanting it. It's like you're focusing, you're trying to focus on something else, but it's still just kind of sitting in your mind. But you have more strength than what you think you do, Sag. Y'all always do. You need to transition and do something different. Like I said, get out of feeling stuck. Get out of feeling stuck. Maybe you need to, get, maybe this relationship needs a little bit more attention. You know, what is this four of cups? What is this four of cups? We got the six, excuse me, the six of wands. So, and that's crazy because we got the six of wands here. I feel like it's something that you want seen, but what is it? Ten of swords. The ten of swords. So it's like. It's like, yeah, it's like you're in denial about something. It's like you're just in plain denial. It's like, it's, it's something, it's, that's what I keep saying. It's something is missing. I feel like it's like a full puzzle piece, but it's just that one piece in the middle that you just can't figure it out. But on top of that being the emotional problem, you got all of this other stuff over here trying to keep yourself together, feel like you're in hermit mode, possibly wanting love. There are a lot of things that you don't want seen. You know what I'm saying? I feel like you just, it's something that needs attention that you're not really giving it attention, but I feel like it's, it's something missing and you feeling stuck. Seven of Swords. And see, we got the Seven of Swords right here by the Eight of Swords. So the Seven of Swords, I feel like, is like maybe you feel betrayed by this person. Maybe you're in a relationship with somebody you possibly feel betrayed by. You know what I mean? But you just don't want to let them go. We got the Page of Wands in reverse. You know, I just feel like you're not really too excited about this person no more. Whoever you're with, it's like you're just not excited about them no more. It's like you want this to go to a higher level of commitment, but you're not making it easy for me. Like, I'm just, I'm going through all of this. And then, you know, I got, I'm trying to transition. I'm trying to change. I'm trying to be stronger. And it's just like, you're not, you're not, it's something that you're, I want you to do. I want you to be the one to do it, but you're just, you're not doing it. It's like, I need you to do this, but you're just, you're not doing it. Something is missing. 
and it and and until that piece is is found you're going to be incomplete or at least you feel that way but don't feel like that sad talk to you in aquarius okay i'm telling you leave me a comment if you need to like i said i do personal readings i should do therapy sessions you know what i'm saying i really really should but i'm not a therapist i am a spiritual one okay certified by the higher powers but on earth i'm not a therapist but i can definitely talk to you and teach and teach you whatever it is that you may need to know because i have virgo in me and we are the teachers of the zodiac on top of that i am an aquarius so i'm very intuitive and i love learning so it just runs in my blood on top of that i have a lot of capricorn in my chart so i won't stop getting information to help the people around me and i have all of the smartest of the zodiacs inside of me so yes um i literally so sag if you need to talk send me a dm um send me a message until then give this video a thumbs up subscribe leave a comment below let me know what you think and sag take care y'all i love y'all peace